Good afternoon, I'm Cody with The Connected Camper. Today we're going to be chatting about solar power, which is right up here on the top of my rig. Now I'm going to be showing you right inside this bay right here, all of my solar components. Now today we are boondocking uh, near uh, Blanca, Colorado, and uh, we've got obviously a very beautiful sunny day here. It is a little bit windy, so thank you for your patience by hearing that in the audio here. But uh, inside this bay, everything is hard at work. My batteries are, are at about 72% state of charge right now. They've still got two or three more hours of sunlight here, good sunlight that they'll continue charging, probably get them up to 85, 95%. So I'm gonna jump right in here and we'll show you what's in this bay. So in the trailer here, this bay is actually underneath the bottom bunk. And so that's actually my, my choice storage location here. And it's actually very close to the shore power cable right there. And that will come into play here in just a second. Now in here is the bunk that Ranger actually sleeps on right there. And then down here we have uh, the brains of the operation. This is an MPP Solar 2024 PIP LVMK. This is a 2000 watt inverter and it is set up in a 24 volt configuration with my lithium batteries. This is an all in one system. So that means that solar power comes in here and batteries also come in here too. And then the shore power also comes in here. So this is all in one. It has a solar charge controller, a shore power charger, and then it's obviously an inverter too. Now, right over here are our batteries. Now these are Chins 12 volt uh, 100 amp hour batteries. There are four of them. I have them set up in a 24 volt configuration at 200 amp hours. And so that equates to roughly five kilowatt hours of energy. Now you can see right over here, we have our solar input. Now the hole in the wall there is actually between the wall of this bunk in the bathroom. The uh, connectivity from the solar panels comes down through there and my solar panels are 100 watt new power solar panels that are set up seven panels seven 100 watt panels in series that come down to this breaker and then that breaker comes over here into the mpp solar uh, all-in-one inverter now you hear the fans kicking up and down that's because the solar panels are going behind some uh, some clouds right now but then the solar panels come over here and obviously go into the inverter the battery cables connect up there these are our, uh, our shore power cable right here, and then the output to the breaker panel in the RV. So the entire RV is inverted. Now right here is actually a data cable that goes over into a hole in the wall right over there that, uh, that goes under the, under the uh, booth over there and allows me to plug a computer in and get additional data on this. Now, one thing that is crucial in a setup like this is a smart shunt so that you can properly track your state of charge on your batteries. And that is right here. That is a Victron smart shunt that handles all of the current that goes in and out of the batteries between the batteries and the inverter. And so that basically tells me my state of charge, my voltage, everything else like that. And then it also goes over and comes up to a display on the wall inside. So now we're inside and I'm going to chat with you about all these components. So um, the components uh, all work really well. Everything that I have here, I would absolutely do it over again. The Chins batteries absolutely work as well as they are advertised. They are really inexpensive at $319 per battery. They come out to, I mean, I spent about as much for those four batteries as some folks spend on one Battleborn battery. So they are well worth it. They absolutely keep up to their statistics and I would buy those again. The Victron components, the only piece of Victron uh, components that I have here is that smart shunt. I don't have any other Victron components because I didn't think they were necessary. Sure, they have some fancy settings and everything else like that, but I don't think I'd be using those. The MPP solar inverter has some little finicky uh, activity that happens with it every now and then, but I would, I would absolutely have that for $600 versus $1,600 for some of the Victron inverters. And so the MPP also has the charge controller in it. So I don't have to have a charge controller as well. That's upwards of four or $500. So looking at the, uh, the one piece of Victron, 
uh, connectivity that I have here is the Victron Smart Shunt. You can see we're putting 17 amps into the batteries, 464 watts, and then we are at uh, 47 amp hours uh, pulled out and 75% state of charge. Now, this entire setup, like I said, I would absolutely do this over again. My solar panels up on the roof, they perform great. They are not pulling in their full wattage right now because they are likely hot. The sun is hot today. It is there. There's cool air, but it is hot. And so these solar panels, they are set up very well. They also don't have any shadows on them. My TV antenna has been removed. My RV air conditioner on the roof has been removed. So there are no shadows. There's nothing that should be pulling any voltage down on the array because it is a single string array. Any shadows on one panel could pull down the performance of the entire array. And so the uh, the solar panels perform great. Like I said, everything in this setup, I would absolutely do it over again. Um, I would say, make sure you keep track of who you buy your products from. I bought my batteries from Amazon. I bought my inverter from Ian at watts247.com. Ian is absolutely awesome to work with when it comes to troubleshooting or service of your units. I had to have two parts replaced on mine. First was the main board, it went out, didn't have an inverter for two weeks. I descended in and have Ian replace that. Second one that happened was that little USB port that you saw in there. The USB port went bad and I couldn't get any data out of it. Ian sent me that part right away, fixed up, no problem. Ian, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You have a loyal customer and I will absolutely send anyone your way that is looking for an all-in-one inverter like an MPP or a grow watt. Now, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be doing an additional video following this talking about a tool called Solar Assistant that is specific to MPP solar and grow watt inverters and some other ones in there too. Those are the two big ones. I'll be talking about that in a coming video. So be on the lookout, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.